Hey everybody, Mr. God to you here. I am about to uh, start up the simulator event and I wanted to just show you guys how um, I roll. I do uh, clearance nine um, and what I basically do, and this is kind of how I start and do my main clears, is um, my clear team that I use almost 100% of the time, and especially for this one because I'm pretty sure he's the required, is I use a five Thor uh, America Chavez uh, Bruce Banner combo. Um, it goes super fast uh, for the high clearance ranks, but in order to get Thor, the five star Thor turned on and working, you have to get him down to half life and uh, uh, I know some people do this by like going into the preview matches or going into um, like shield level stuff and just losing, like just auto shutting off and losing the matches till he, till the damage knocks him down. But I have a different way of doing it that also kind of doubles up uh, clearing the early events. So uh, I'm going to show you. It's easier just to show you how I do it. But what I'll do is uh, I'm going to get him down to half life, and then I will do one match with him. Um, uh, at Half-Life using my team that I use, then I'll end that video and then I'll do a couple more videos of the uh, higher up nodes like the required nodes and the uh, uh, you know the, the last two nodes on the other side just because I don't want to have a super long video to start with but I do want to whip through and show how to get them down to Half-Life and then uh, what that looks like once that works with the America Chavez and Banner. So I'm just going to get started. So just keep an eye on what I do and uh, we'll go from there. This is how where I always go because it matches up with my time zone the best. So I don't still have to do this thing. So go through that. Oh, good, we have to do this thing first. Bear with me while I beat that down. I'll uh, load up the damage on this because I don't want to have to make you guys sit through too much. Do do do. As with everything in this game, it's you know getting your lines, getting your you know looking for these things. Always that most important. Anything you can do that shakes up the board and gives you free extra moves, always go for. Um, always, always one of the things I always do when I'm looking at this too is, you know, look for moves that make moves. Come on. Um, you know, like if you see a line like this four match that I want to make, if I go down then I can make it with uh, uh, by doing it in two jumps. I'll just jump that on, jump, jump. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get through this quick as I can because I know this is pretty boring. Yeah, there are a few things in this game that are more powerful than a board shake and scramble. Um, it is, it's one of the most powerful effects in the game because it can totally change how the situation is set up, go over everything. You may notice that I do have um, the, her power available with the shields. It really does nothing. It's one of the most, I, any, any power, in my opinion, any power that doesn't do damage uh, and win you the game faster is pretty much useless uh healing powers power for the most part don't you know they're always the weakest thing you you always want to be in a position where you're beating the game not where you're making the game the game take longer uh it's a concept called um not winning or not losing isn't winning is the way i always heard it said and i always like that okay so uh, like I said, I need to get Thor down to half-life. And the fastest way to do that is to put him in with uh, these two. So this is the team I use for almost all of my low-level node clears. And 
Do, do, do. Always switch it out so that you have the lowest hit point guy there. And then you just want to do one, tick one guy off. Oh, geez, it's going to take forever because Thor's at like 127,000 life. So I might not even get them down by doing this the normal way. So what I do is I run all these, run them through all of these, letting um, Thanos kick him around a bit. But it's going to say because he's got so much, such a high hit health total. Oops, did I accidentally? I see, and that's the, the problem sometimes. There we go, so we sweep it. So yeah, we need to get Thor down to, uh, he'll have to get down to like 60,000 life. Oof, this might take longer than I want. But I do want him at half life before I start the four, the five star node as well, so this might just be what we have to do. You actually don't want to do too many combos here because if you kill them all before uh, Thanos kicks off, then um, he doesn't actually take any. He doesn't. The court death doesn't happen if you knock out all three guys with a combo. So that's the only thing you actually have to watch out for is that you accidentally combo off and take everybody out. So I'm just going to run through and do these all four times, and you might get me. It's still not going to get me low enough, but... We'll let it get me down, get him down as fast as I or as low as it can. Okay, so I'm going to pause this. Um, then I'm going to come back into it once I've got... You get the idea. I'm going to get Thor down to half-life. And then I'm going to come back in and show you these other parts. Okay, now I am back. Okay, so I did have to end up uh, going through. I did these all down, four clears, all done. Um, and then so I have, and then I just had Thor retreat from a bunch of battles just to show you what that looks like. So here we go. Here's Thor. You see, the easy way to tell like he's half, you know, you have to do a bit of division, but other than that, it's not that hard. Now this, actually I'm going to switch that just for my own being a little bit whatever about it. And where's America Chavez? There she is. Okay. So now the combo with these three, you put one of each, each of these on of her. And that starts her at her, she's got more uh, AP than everybody, starting from round one. Um, this means that you have uh, critical tiles appearing on your second turn. Plus you've got Thor scramble, like destroying tiles because he's at half health. Uh, and Banner, actually, uh, because Thor destroys most of the green, Banner's uh, Gamma Ray experiment actually kicks in quite often. It creates green and does damage. So you've got three sources of damage that are all passive that happen every turn. You've got critical tiles falling. Banner fills in the other half of the rainbow of tiles that Thor does. So he eats all the green, yellow, and red out of the board, which leaves a lot of black, purple, and blue, which aren't in Thor's colors. So it's like you're left with a bunch of, you know, you get a lot of match fours and match fives from and cascades, but there aren't a lot of his stuff that does a lot of damage left. Except if you use Banner, then you're getting his match values on those right so i'm just going to back it up a step so if you see like look at him uh, where is his steel hmm. info sorry there you go so you see like his match totals on those are much higher so he's the exact opposite on so thor you know you see obviously his these are massive because he's boosted, so this is going to be a murder show. So just bear with me and watch the watch the action fly again. Remember, you have to have. And of course, it resets them. These set to one each. I'm going to do this one, and then I might do the five star just so you can see it because it's actually pretty crazy once it gets rolling. 
and uh, then we'll tack these together. I had to do these as two videos, but I'll edit them together using my video editor and upload them all as one thing. Uh, nice and fast, thank you. Always good when it's nice and fast. Actually, that's probably my Wi-Fi's fault. I'm not going to blame that <laughs> on everybody else. So, okay, so come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. There we go. Okay, so this combo, um, always you want to have Doctor Strange off the board as fast as you can so that you can use powers without them going up. There's a nice little double cascade that we're going to get. And you always, you always with this team, you want to start out, you always want to target banners tiles. Um, because... I told you it'd be fast because uh, it keeps Thor at the back. So then um, when they re return fire, uh, it hurts Banner. But if Banner ever gets low on health, you can use a health pack to bring him back up to full health. Um, whereas if you bring Thor back up to full health, you have to go through all the steps to knock him back down again. So yeah, that was, <laughs> that was pretty crazy. Um, if you want, I'm just going to run up this whole chain. I'm going to do each of these once because these are going pretty fast. Um, same, same. Uh, always want Rocket and Groot. Actually, you want to take Punisher first because uh, he's got that power that kills anybody who's at half health, his retribution. So uh, you don't want him uh, accidentally fluking into that somehow. Not that that's going to be a huge issue. He's going to be dead. Everyone's going to be dead in about two seconds here because this thing's just ridiculous once it gets flying. And this is this is like this team is how I do almost all my clears in the game. Um, all of the big ones, like not obviously not the the low level ones, but yeah, see there it doesn't even. It doesn't even matter. That was my cat. being silly. Obviously she's needing some attention. She decided to kick over a whole thing, as cats do. If any of you are looking for me on the Facebook, that's what I go by. Yeah, like this is a pretty solid team. Like these are these are these are guys that would normally like these are fights that give you a lot of trouble, or that can give you a lot of trouble. The simulator is one of the a lot of people hate this event because uh, there's no uh, almost no nodes in it ever that are uh, just like what I call the goons, like the the no names, the, the thugs, and all those things that um, you know that don't fight back. They're passive, so that you get a lot easier to beat without having to. Um, get into these these fights. So these fights always take longer. And there's something like active, when you have an active foe, even controlled by the computer or the AI, it's um, it's always risky. There's always an element of extra risk because they can just come pull a win out of nowhere. But uh, this team beats things usually before they can even mount any kind of concerted effort, right? Like it just... It just chains into so many different things. So I'm going to do this last one, which is the one for all the big ISO. Uh, who do we take first in this one? Probably Luke Cage needs to be off the board first. He's the most dangerous in this, in this combo. Um, you want him off the board before you need to do any powers, although I haven't needed to even use a power yet, which is crazy. The other cool thing about this team, uh, which you'll probably see on the five-star required node when I do it, is uh, there's some really good synergies actually between uh, other synergies between Banner and Thor. Um, Banner's black, especially. Um, this one here, it creates a lot of tiles. Now obviously you know some people don't like it because it creates the friendly tiles, but you can usually get rid of those or the enemy tiles. But um, all of those friendly tiles, uh, as Thor builds up to his red, uh, it has a conditional damage increase that is uh, based on the number of friendly special tiles. So all those attack tiles that 
uh, banner drops uh, make that go better. Uh, I also have the Korg support on my five star Thor, so anytime the Thor power kicks off, I get a free shield, which works really nicely with his his yellow. So yeah, so anyway, I'm going to show you this quick. <clears throat> this is what I'm probably going to be working on for the next little while. I'm going to do the four clears of this right away. Um, nothing wrong with any of these. He's fine. He'll live through that. He's still under half. America Chavez, she's a tank. Certainly, uh, when you're in five star land, she's she's just like a damage multiplier. Like her powers are good when you have four star characters around with her, but when the critical tiles she's dropping are uh, interacting with uh, five star damage and five star critical multipliers. Uh, it just goes through the roof. Like she can drop a, just create a critical tile that's going to put 18, 25,000 damage uh, automatically on. And plus she, she does for you know, a couple thousand with the power itself. So uh, this one, when we set it up, it's probably going to go, I think it goes, you do Shuri first. Um, yeah, I think it's, uh, might, might go, I don't know, I'll have to see. I'm kind of torn who needs to get off the board first, because they're all kind of dangerous in their own little way. But unless there's a five drop somewhere, it's going to be, I'm going to start with that black. It's important when you match to see which direction you're going in. And especially if it's a very key match, I almost always use, like, I tap the thing and then I move the thing. So now here I can either expose Thor and get some damage on that one. Let me do this first just in case it puts that in an interesting spot. Even though there's a four, this is a four with Thor, with that, like, this is going to, like, check out the damage this is going to do. Yeah, like, it's a one shot down. So 31,000 damage for having a critical in a four launch set him up for a bit, but really, like, Thor's got tons of life in this. Sometimes when he's not champed and boosted, um, the amount of life that having him kind of come in for, for, uh, for taking, to take a shot and get hit, um, it's not a lot in and of itself, but when you kind of combine it with all the other stuff that happens, uh, it can mean that you run out of the ability to use Thor later on in the match. <clears throat> but yeah, like, uh, well, hopefully he doesn't just fill that in. There we go. Okay, so, oh, look at that. And two critical tiles right next to each other. Boom, shakalaka. Okay, so that's how that works. Uh, I'm going to run this. Yeah, I'll do one more. Do one more run through just so you guys can see it one last time on the same one and then I will close this up and um, that'll be that for I'll edit these two together and uh, I'll post it up on YouTube and put some links up on the player groups so one more time I'll walk you through this um, yeah, I think I was pretty happy with that I think that uh, any five star on the board is potentially the most dangerous thing on the board uh, within within reason so The, other, the only thing that is a little bit uh, hard to play with this combo um, is it's really hard. Sometimes you want to predict what your move is going to be <clears throat> before uh, before your turn, but because there's so many uh, micro scrambles that happen uh, with the board, you know, with, between um, America's Critical and Thor and potentially also Bruce, you really have to, like, take half a second and reassess the board state when you get in. Yeah, so here we are most of the way through this already. Uh, sure making me feel good about <clears throat> I, uh, I spent some CP to uh, max out and chant my five-star Thor before, the, before this event. I used the Hero for Hire 250 CP. I've been saving a bunch for when Cable came into the uh, latest Legends, but um, being able to finally finish off my Thor after so long is uh, 
you know, because I use them literally every day in this game, so it's just silly to not have them chapped. So there you go. Um, uh, you guys can kind of figure out the rest, and we'll, uh, yeah, we'll talk to you next time. Uh, once again, shouts out to my alliance, uh, Phoenix Ember. Great guys, great group of people. If you're ever, if you're uh, looking to try and join a, an alliance that has no drama and uh, lots of good people, uh, lots of good chats online, and lots of good support, where they were, come find me, or uh, and we can uh, see about getting you either into our feeder alliance, or if you're high enough up, you can go into our main. All right. Talk to you later. Let's do that to you. Out.